Hello students, I am Mr. Sandeep here. In our subject Advanced Manufacturing Processes, we have started the discussion on various processes based on various energy involved. So in previous session, we have started our discussion on thermal energy based processes. So in previous session, we have discussed electron beam machining process that is based on thermal energy involved. Right? So here on the thermal energy involved, our material can be removed by melting and vaporization of the material. It means when we apply the electricity, what happens? Heat will be generated and due to this heat, our material will be melted or say our material can be removed from the work piece. Right? So in today's session also, we are going to start our discussion on the process that is based on thermal energy. So let us start our discussion on thermal energy based process that is laser beam machining. So today we are going to discuss on LBM that is laser beam machining process. So laser beam machining is one of the familiar processes under category of thermal energy based process. So here based on the thermal energy laser beam machining is very important process. So let us start our discussion on LBM that is laser beam machining. So laser is nothing but laser is bundle of energy. So here with help of this laser you can generate the heat and this heat can be utilized for melting or so this heat can be utilized for cutting the work piece. So here I mentioned the three processes in which today we are going to discuss on laser beam machining process. So let us start our discussion on LBM that is laser beam machining. So what do you mean by laser? Laser is nothing but it is a short form of light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. So laser means light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. So in the laser beam machining, laser is generated and due to this laser we can generate the heat. So how the laser will be generated or how laser will be emitted? So the general principle or general concept is when the atom from lower energy will jump to the higher energy due to the incident of light but higher energy state is unstable. So from the higher energy the atom will suddenly jump down to the lower energy or from higher energy level to the lower energy level when the atom will transfer what happens the energy or say photon rays will be generated right so photon of energy will be generated that is nothing but laser so this is the basic principle or concept of laser generation so here i mentioned the stimulated emission or say stimulated radiation principle so once again i repeat when what happens when a lower atom or say lower energy atom from lower energy will jump to the higher energy but due to unstable state it will again transfer or say it will be back to the lower energy state and at this transition what happens the photon will be released and this photon is nothing but it is a bundle of energy and due to this bundle of energy what happens the laser will be generated and will be focused to the workpiece with some sort of mechanism. So here I mentioned the construction for the laser beam machining setup. So how can we generate the heat or say how can we generate the laser? So here I mentioned the construction setup for the same. So here in the construction of this LVM setup what happens there will be some ruby rod or say ruby laser is generally used that is solid state laser. So here I mentioned in the construction ruby rod is used and here a flash tube is used that is in form of spiral. So flash tube is used or say flash tube is surrounded 
over the ruby road right so ruby road is generally made of aluminum oxide ion and also some ions uh, can be replaced with the chromium right so here partially reflective mirror and also fully reflective mirror are installed right so this is all about the construction details so here flash tube is that there will be one uh, crystal or say ruby crystal or ruby road is that and there will be some mirror that is the partially reflective and also fully refractive mirror right so how can we generate the laser so here i mentioned in this image here uh, your ruby road is mentioned here your flash tube is there so in the flash tube some inert gases like argon or helium is filled right so here how can we generate the laser uh, let us start our discussion on working of this laser beam machining right so here as per our discussion what happens when we supply the electricity what happens due to this flash tube what happens here as per the capacitance there will be some light throwing on our ruby gold so due to this light what happens the chromium atoms or the atoms in the ruby road will be excited and transferred to the higher energy state but due to this unstable state it will be coming back to the uh, lower energy level that is e1 level and again the energy will be released that is in form of photon right so this uh, energy or say this uh, rays of photons will be strike back and forth millions of times with the partially reflective mirror and your fully reflective mirror and finally this focus coherent beam will be transfer or say will be coming out from the partially reflective mirror and this is how this uh, concentrated or say focused coherent laser beam is generated and then it will be focused on your workpiece right that is in the downward angle so this is how uh, laser can be generated and we can generate the laser with help of this ruby road and the flash tube mechanism right so here mirrors are also used as per our discussion so uh, laser beam machining is very important process for all the areas so here i mentioned the main uh, points or main application of the laser that is uh, generally in the cutting welding and also drilling right so with help of laser the general principle is we can generate the heat and this heat can be utilized in a controlled manner in the cutting as well as drilling on the same time we can do the welding as well in a controlled manner so uh, when we focus the laser beam in the downward direction but with help of some control we can do the welding or we can do joining of two metals also that is known as a laser welding so with help of the laser mechanism you can do the metal cutting as well as uh, joining of the metals also right so here i mentioned advantages for the laser beam machining so the main advantage i have discussed is with help of the laser you can cut the several uh, mm or several centimeter thick plates also so it is very useful in cutting right so here uh, without any complex machining with simple laser mechanism you can cut your material right so here cutting of the metals as well as non metals are also possible so here there will be no direct contact it means there will be no tool wear present right so you can do the drilling or some micro machining also so here any extremely hard material can be worked also and also as per our discussion in previous session heat affected zone is very narrow or very small it means here high energy can be utilized at the same time here our energy will be converted in the heat so overall efficiency of the process is very less and at the same time initial investment is very high so here high skill worker is also required due to the variable or set parameter of the laser generation right so you have to consider these limitations for laser beam machining right so this is all about the laser beam machining advantages 
uh, with the limitation and also constructs are working. Thank you all of you.